Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. This is part two showing how to create a powerful iron emblem. Picking up from where we left off, click the FX icon and click Outer Glow. The blend mode is linear burn, the opacity is 30%, and the color is black. The spread is zero, and the size is 40 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is darken, and the opacity is 48%. Global light is unchecked, and the angle is 135 degrees. The distance is 53 pixels. The spread is zero, and the size is 27 pixels. Then click OK. To save space in the Layers panel, we can collapse the effects. We'll make a new layer below the active layer by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. Let's name it Circle. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center of the guidelines. Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circular selection from the center approximately this size. We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is your foreground color, Press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it by pressing Control or Command D. Reduce its fill to zero. Double click the thumbnail of the circle to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel. The technique is Chisel Hard. And the depth is 75%. The direction is up and the size is 25 pixels. Global light is unchecked. The angle is 135 degrees and the altitude is 65 degrees. The highlight mode is color dodge and its opacity is 25%. The shadow mode is linear burn and its opacity is 75%. Click Contour and open its list. Click Sawtooth 1, which is at the bottom of the list. Then click OK. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Control click or Command click the thumbnail of the circle to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. As before, contract it by 23 pixels and click OK. The selection is now touching the inside border of the circle. Fill the selection with black, deselect it, and reduce its fill to zero. Double-click the thumbnail of the inside circle to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. Keep the same settings as you had with the border around the frame, except change the Highlight Mode to Vivid Light and change the Shadow's Opacity to 35%. Click Contour. Open your list of contours. I'll change it to Cove Deep, but feel free to experiment with the other contours. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Polygon tool, and at the top, type in 20 for the sides, and check Align Edges. Click the gear icon and check star. Indent the sides 50%. Go to the center of the guidelines 
and drag out the star shape until it touches the inside of the border. Rotate the shape so the star is pointing straight up and down. Then, reduce its fill to zero. To hide the work path, open your paths panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Paths. Click anywhere in the empty area to hide the work path. Open back your Layers panel and click the FX icon. Click Bevel Emboss. The style, technique, and depth are the same as before, but change the direction to down. Keep the size and angle the same as before. Change the highlight mode to color dodge, and its opacity is 35%. Change the shadow's opacity to 75%. Click Contour. I'll change the contour to cone, but feel free to experiment with the others. Then click OK. Next, we'll create bolts. To save space in the Layers panel, let's group all the layers that comprise our circular shield into its own folder. To do this, shift-click the bottom circle to make all those layers active, and press Ctrl or Command G. Name the folder Circle or Shield. Make the top layer active and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Name it Bolts. Open your Elliptical Marquee Tool and place your cursor on the horizontal guideline approximately on the same vertical axis as the side of your shield. Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circle approximately this size. Then fill it with black and deselect it. Make a copy of the bolt layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Press V to open your Move tool and press and hold Shift as you drag the bolt copy to the right. Merge the two bolt layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Reduce its fill to zero. Double click the bolt's thumbnail to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel and the technique is Smooth. The depth is 50%. The direction is up, and the size is 23 pixels. The angle and altitude are the same as before. The highlight mode is Color Dodge, and its opacity is 43%. The shadow mode is Linear Burn, and its opacity is 75%. Click Contour. The contour is Cone. Click Outer Glow. The Blend Mode is Linear Burn. Its opacity is 40%. And the size is 18 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. The Blend Mode is Linear Burn. The opacity is 20% and the angle is 135 degrees. The distance is 20 pixels, and the size is 10 pixels. Then click OK. Lastly, we'll darken the background. Open your Circle Shield folder, scroll down, and control click or command click the thumbnail of the bottom circle to make a selection of its shape. Close the folder, go to your text design, and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift as you click on the thumbnail of your text design to add its selection to the circle selection. Make the background active and click the adjustment layer icon. Click Levels. 
automatically the selection was converted into a layer mask. We need to invert the layer mask so whatever adjustment we make in the Levels Adjustment layer will appear only on the background. Think of a layer mask as a stencil. White reveals and black masks out. To invert the layer mask, press Ctrl or Command I. In the Input Black field, type in 68 and in the Output White field, type in 170. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.